Okay, so our next skill is um, to have a look at making some compound bar graphs. So I've already made a new sheet at the bottom here, uh, called the compound bar graphs. Um, for this, we're going to be using the raw data continent. Okay, and you've got two inquiry questions. One is to look at which continent has the, mo the highest recorded occurrence of natural disasters, and which continent has the highest um, total deaths from natural disasters. I suppose that gives us an insight into how well, we're, how well they're managing those, maybe the magnitude um, of those disasters as well. So um, for the purpose of this, I'm just going to take the data um, that I'm interested in from this raw data tab. Um, so command C, and I'm going to paste that into my compound bar graph. Okay, now I've got that. Um, it's more or less formatted as I need it. Maybe I could increase that once I can see all of that, but not too important there. Um, next, I'm going to just turn on some turn on filters again. It's going to help me manage my data sheet a lot more easily. Okay. Um, now to do this, um, we use compound bar graphs. Google uh, Sheets is going to call them uh, stack, um, stacked column graphs. So when we come to it. He's just plotting something here. This is obviously not really telling us anything. Look, we've got doesn't really useful at the moment, but we're going to be working with this option here. Okay, stacked column charts. We could have as have a hundred percent, so similar to a pie chart data, but because there's different levels in each country, that's not going to work for us. So we're going to be using using this one here. Um, but obviously, at the moment, that that doesn't work. So we need to format our data. Now, um, to do this, uh, I'm going to. Again, it might not be the, the, the way I've kind of work around this is first of all, I'm going to be putting down the different continents here beneath. It. I'm doing it beneath because it means um, when I start hiding um, and filtering different cells, I can still see everything I need to work on. So I'm going to have um, Af put my continents down aside here Africa, Oceania, Europe, Asia, Americas. Then I'm going to have my different types of hazards at the top here. So we've got earthquakes, storms, floods, volcanoes, and um, now this one I'm going to do for the occurrence. Right, so I've typed that into there. Now, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to search by disaster type. So I'm going to turn uh, all of them off, except earthquakes first. Oh. I should have, oh, well, I just noticed this because I put it in the same column. It's going a little bit confusing. I'm also going to want to keep blanks on, because I've got blank here. So I'm going to do that slightly differently. If I do that. We're going to just move the cross to uh, make my life a little bit easier. Um, I'm going to keep blanks, keep blanks on uh, for disaster type. And then again, make my life too, make my life too complicated here. Put it there. Right. Disaster type. So here we go. First of all, I'm going to turn off floods, storms, volcanoes. So now I can in Africa I copy that into there for Oceania, that into there for Europe, that into there, almost had the right order. Asia, that into there, and Americas, that one. Goes there. Okay, then I can turn that one off, turn storms back, turn storms on, keep blanks on so I can see these ones. Copy across Africa. Um, I'm, I'm not copying and pasting. A better way to do this, I shouldn't have done it like that really, let's just delete that. I should really be putting equals and then clicking on the cell, hitting enter, equals, clicking on the cell, hitting enter. The reason I should be doing it this way is if, anything, if I now change anything in this cell, it automatically kind of changes what's there. Um, so I'll do that. Whereas if I ch whereas with these ones, because I've copy and pasted the numbers, um, it won't do that. But yeah, if I, if I link to the cells, it's a better way to do it. Now, 
Once I've got that, I can select my data. I can hit insert. I can put chart. It still doesn't know, but I want a stacked chart. So I want to look. So I need to go click on this setup. I need to scroll down here to stacked. And there we go. Actually, I don't have data for these ones yet, but I can, can now see that um, Africa and Oceania receive a lot more storms than they do earthquakes. Okay, so that's my occurrence. What I'm going to want to do is um, add a title to that. So I'm going to be making another similar graph. So um, we put natural disaster. Parents, rates, something like that um, works quite nicely. You know, if you want to play around with changing the colours, all that sort of thing, you can do that on here. Um, but now I can I can see the total. So for, for Africa, just for my storms and earthquakes, um, looks like it was sort of around three hundred and twenty or so, um, which is slightly lower than Oceania. Um, but again, and I can sort of start to see the breakdown of where it is individually. Once I've done that for all of the data, um, I copy and paste this into my spread, into my Word document, or I can just move it to the side. I'm then going to do the similar sort of thing and copy and paste that. Um, but this time I'm going to do death toll. So exactly the same, but I'm taking this data here. Uh, so that's for storms in Africa. Uh, I've got to get there. Again, I'll let the bits I'm interested in. Insert chart. Remember to tell it what I'm after, which is a stacked column chart. Obviously, I've only got one set of data in there, so it hasn't changed it yet. But as long as that, that's right, it will start looking there. So. Good luck with that and as always if you have any questions drop it in the comments below or um, join me on Google Meet.